Hi hey guys, welcome to part two of Postman. So we have so far learned about the Python, sorry, Postman basic, what uh, Postman looks like and how to do the basic configuration. Okay. Now, so today I'm going to again talk about that uh, same way we can, how we can create that, uh, you know, access policy and uh, uh, how we can create that uh, tenants, how we can create that other, uh, other uh, parameters in the, uh, in the Cisco ACI. Okay. So for example, I have already logged in. I have shown you that how to log in using the JSON format. You, you can have XML format also using, you can use the same username password for lo login. If you do not know the script, you can directly, uh, suppose for example, uh, you do not know how to create the bridge domain, how to create the bridge domain script, right? You can simply go to the existing tenant. For example, here I have heroes and, uh, we can directly download from this one and we can try to replicate the same script from the uh, my uh, postman itself. So if I go to the here networking bridge domain, for example, okay, if I look here, this is the heroes, hero land, right? If I right click, uh, just give me a second. If I right click on this, if I say save as, you can extract that all the configuration, right? And you can use the same exact script for the your uh, uh, creating the further script, creating the further automation. So you can open this script for in in a, some in some uh, formatter. I have here the the window uh, Microsoft uh, version of this uh, Visual Studio or the automation script modifications. So you can use, for example, this here. This is the script which has been downloaded. Now you can create the multiple script, multiple bridge domain. For example, uh, if you do not know how to create the things, you can just simply modify the same thing, copy paste multiple time, and you can create it manual way of doing it. But if you already have the script which can use for the all the automation, you can do it. For example, I want to create that access policy and wheel and pool domain and the uh, interface profile, switch profile, all these things I want to create it, right? And how we can do it. So I have a script here. And in the script, what I have script here is I'm saying that I will log into the epic and which epic? This is the environmental epic. I have a, a use that is epic for the token also, username, password, everything. Okay, I have used that. Now, I'm first I'm going to create the VLAN pool. In the VLAN pool, I have these these details. Okay, what are the things going to do here? And then I will create the CDP policy as well. And the CDP policy, I can here mention that name also. But what I want to do here is I want to create the bulk configuration using the Excel sheet. Using the Excel sheet, you can do the automations. This is the how easiest, this is the easiest way a way of uh, configuring the configuration. Here I can do the domain creation without any issue. Uh, manually we can push that. But if you want to create it in a bulk, how are you gonna do that here? How are you gonna do that here? So what I will do here is I will uh, uh, create one Excel sheet. Okay, let me, I have a script here and these are the uh, CSV script where I can associate the multiple variables either from here itself, or I can create the one script uh, Excel sheet and put all these variable into that Excel sheet and uh, run that bulk configuration at the same time. Okay, so I have this Excel sheet here, blank Excel sheet. What I will do here is I'll just copy paste. I will just uh, use the exact same name which are available here. First is VLAN creation. I will say that, okay, I want to create the VLAN. This is the VLAN name. Sorry, not VLAN name. This is the uh, attributes all the attribute name must be matched from here and Excel sheet also. Then I will get the VLAN name, what VLAN name I want to create, right? Then what I will do here is I will create the from, like this is the from where, sorry. Each and every attributes will be used for the, all the script. Then I will say that to, this is the VLAN. Then I will say that, then I will say the admin state, what going to be then here, right? I will click on the CDP. In a CDP, I will say that it, uh, admin state, then I'm going to give description, CDP policy, what's going to be the name, exact same parameters I will be using here. I will say the CDP policy name. 
then i will use that uh, uh, what the physical domain going to be this is the physical domain script what i'm going to create the physical domain and which which vlan i'm going to associate into the physical domain i will tell that okay then i will say that i want to create aap also so ap name what should be the ap name i have aap script also uh, like this one right aap name then description is fine description i'm going to use the same description which i have created already okay which description i've created i've created i'm going to give here one description which going to be, going to be used for all the uh, policies okay then i'm going to create the exxi interface policy in the exxi interface policy i'm going to create the policy group then i'm going to create uh, uh, interfaces i'm going to associate aap i'm going to associate the policy and i'm going to create three types of interface policy okay one for the exxi one for the uh, linux one for the window machine i have three types of servers which are connected over here like this so what i will do here is i will click on the uh, first exxi in the exxi i will say that interface profile policy group i want to create just give me a second interface policy group then i want to create interface policy group for the linux okay then i want to create interface policy group for the windows okay then i want to create the create the interface leaf profile right interface these, these are the just a the name these are the not attributes so whatever i'm, I'm pasting over here, these are the name i have i'm picking from the uh, my script these are the name i have given in the attributes that's the reason i'm picking the same exact name if we have this name is not matching with this is even the capital is small must be matching over here these names okay if i go to the uh, switch profile name also sorry uh switch policy name then then uh, i'm going to say that uh, leave one name what i'm going to do here is then i'm going to configure oh, sorry a lot of configuration i have done leaf id i'm going to mention which leaf id i want to use for this then i'm going to see the leaf two name i'm going to mention that leaf two id This is a CSV file I'm going to create. I'm creating it. Okay. Then I will put the all the parameters. Then I'm going to use the all the par parameters. What is the VLAN allocation mode you want to use? There's a two types of VLAN, dynamic and, and static. Okay. I, I will mention the dynamic. Oh, sorry, static. Um, then I will description in the I will in the description, I will mention that created by the postman. Everything, every policy which is going to create, the description is going to be created by the, the name. Then for in the name going to be the all VLANs. Okay. Then I'm going to put the VLAN range from 22,000 to 2501. This is the VLAN range I want. Then I want to have admin enable for the CDP policy. Then I will say the CDP policy name is CDP enabled. Okay. Then I will say the physical server interface for the physical domain this is the physical domain name i'm going to give um then i'm going to give that apply this under this aap then i'm going to create the exxi host this is the interface policy i'm going to use for policy group then i'm going to create for window one this is the access policy group not the bpc okay i'm going to create uh just give me a second. Huh? So Linux host, not the interface. Linux host. Then I'm going to keep for the window host. Okay. Then I'm going to give the leaf profile. In the leaf profile, I will mention that leaf 101102. I'm going to use this is just a profiling name, okay? And which leaf you want to select? Leaf one zero one and 
लीफ वन जीरो टू नेम एंड द लीफ वन जीरो वन लेफ्ट वन जीरो आई एम नॉट सेलेक्टिंग एनी पोर्ट्स डिटेल्स एंड ऑल ओके This is the your CSV file now created. What I will do here is this is the Excel sheet now I have. I will save this file into the CSV format. I will go here and I will say that uh, CSV format in the comma delimited. Then I will in the save version I will just say the save it. Then what I'm going to do here is I will just run this script. right click on this i will say the run collection entire script i want to run it then which task you want to run i want to run all the task i will select that excel sheet which i have created um which i have created with the name of i have not given the name just give me a second uh csv postman okay the download csv postman then i'm going to script here i will see that csv postman select it preview the parameters and these are the parameters i'm going to create it these are the parameters i'm going to create it i will see that turn off login i will start run this is script look here there is saying that there is some bad request in the bad request apk is able to log in properly but the the request which i'm sending is bad Since that invalid token, so what I'm going to do here is, um, just give me a second. I have created one token for each uh, login. That's the reason here is the problem. Just give me a second. I'm just removing that all the bodies which I've created in the for token, and if token is not working, which is fine, I I need to check that. Every time it is checking the token, which I don't want to check that. Okay. Um. Now perfect. Now if I again try to run this. and let's see what happen uh i run this and yeah now is working fine so if you see that i have created a bulk of configuration i have created the epic i first i log in the epic then i created the vlan pool cdp policy physical domain aep all these policies now if i go to the aci here in the debugger which is your api inspector you will see that all these uh, Action is showing over. If I log into the APIC now, I should be able to log in APIC. Okay, I uh, taking time. It's a DPS. Just give me a second. It's taking time. https okay i what i need to do here is uh, let's wait for a second i might need to uh, refresh the my uh, vpn just give me a second let me refresh this Yeah, cool. Sometimes this get really uh, slow because of uh, I'm using the VPN in my jump box to connect this uh, jump box. I remove this HTTPS. I have created the access policy. I'm not created any dynamic policy. Let me 
tastes Uh, just give me a second. Let me open through the different browser. It seems like a, that browser is slow. It was in the Chrome. Okay. So I'm logging here. So if you see that if I go to the fabric and access policy, I should be able to see that all the creation which I have done from the postman. If I click here, look here, all VLAN by the postman description. If I go to the physical domain, this is the physical domain I've created, uh, which physical domain, physical servers. This I've created where the postman, you will see that from the, uh, this VLAN allocation. If I go to the AEP, AP, I should be also see that uh, created via the postman. Um, so the AEP, look here, postman, all VLAN. This is the name, okay? And if I go to the interface policy and profile, I should be able to see that, sorry, switch. If I go to the interface, leave interface policy group, A look here in the leaf access policy i have created that exxi i have created that linux i have created the window three access policy i have applied as a single policy which is cdp that's it and remaining our default one you can have many other policies as well if i go to the interface profile i have created the interface profile here also right so in the interface profile what i have created here uh, just give me a second i think i have not created interface profile I've created rather switch profile yeah. Yeah, I have created a switch profile, not the interface profile. Sorry for miscommunication. I have created a switch profile where I have these uh, names as well as if I. Now, once we created all the access policy, even you can do the manual configuration also. This is a CSV based format. It means CSV base is useful when you want to have a bulk configuration. Okay. If you want to do the like, uh, this is the leaf interface profile now. I should have the leaf interface profile. Just give me a second. I think profiles are already created. Let me see that what configuration has been successful, what configuration has been failed. So if you see that load profile, it's fine. The profile is created. If I click here, sorry. If I click on the logs of the summary, if you see that all the things have been created without any issue, this is the runner which I have run here. Completed this much uh, time it took. And if I select here passing mark, this is all that it passed. Now, same thing, this is the one way of, a uh, uh, manual way of configuring the interface policy and access policy. What if you're having the multiple uh, policy you want to create it? In that case, how would you approach that configuration? Okay, so for that, I have a multiple scripts which I can provide you guys for the reference. If you see that here, this is the script which I have uh, been using here for multiple authentication, uh, for the uh, getting the fabric, you know, for, for example, how many leaf and spine switches are you are there. You can get from this one. If you want to create the tenant, you can create the tenant using the, this format. Right, JSON format. If you want to delete the tenant, you can delete that. If you want to create anything, application profile, uh, EPG, you can uh, do it from here, right? Like this one. So these is scripts I will be showing you. Uh, I have shown you the guys access policy creation. I will be doing that in the next session, the, how to do the logical configuration such as multiple bridge domain uh, creation. Multiple EPGs creation, multiple tenants creation. How to do the static port binding in the uh, in the uh, using the postman. I will be showing in the next session. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next session.